Now things get a little more complicated. We would like to reach both accountability and confidentiality. And the approaches we have seen so far either do the one or the other. So what to do? Basically, we have to combine the two approaches. So let's think about a situation where Alice and Bob, who is uh, are working in this uh, pub, Alice and Bob both have a pair of keys. So we have now to argue always Alice's private key, Bob's private key, Alice's public key, Bob's pri uh, public key. So let's start. Alice is sending the message. Yeah, we have our clear text and she, she is doing a first encryption and prepares a secret text one. To achieve confidentiality, she uses Bob's public key. Then she uses um, secret text one as an input to secret text two and does another encryption. Now he, Bob uses, sorry, Alice uses his, her own private key. Alice's private key. The whole message is sent through the internet which is unsafe and Bob on the other side receives the secret text too. Now he has to first decrypt with Alice's public key. So to create secret text one, uh, he uses Alice's public key, which is available to him. And then to create the original text, the clear text, he uses Bob's, his own private key. Bob's private key. So what you can see is that two encryptions and decryptions are done. The outer one in red, the inner one in blue. You could swap, but you can't do, let's say, red, blue, red, blue. You are always have an inner and an outer. And what is important to mention, not only for this task, if you um, argue which key is used, you always have to take two attributes. The first one is either Alice or Bob or sender or receiver. And the second attribute is public or private. So it's not as, um, sufficient to say here the public key is used or here Alice's key is used because then it's not 100% clear which one to take. And in case you forget one of these attributes, the answer is not correct. So think about always the two attributes. What is achieved in this scenario? So let's have a look. Achieved are the following uh, data security goals. First, accountability. Why? Because if we use Alice's public key for decryption, then we know Alice's private key has been used for encryption. Alice is the only one who has a key. So she's the one who wrote the letter. Second, confidentiality. Bob is the only one who is able to and decrypt system text one into clear text simply because his own private key is uh, required and he is the only one who has it. Even Alice as a sender of the email is not able to do it. Third, we do have integrity. Yeah? If we are able to decrypt the messages, we know nothing is lost, nothing is deleted, nothing is changed. And then we have availability, which is not reached. Yeah, still somebody could destroy the message in between. Basically, when we talk about communication, then it's always, always hard to achieve 100% availability. 
what you could do is you could double check. So send some kind of acknowledgement back so that the receiver, the sender knows, hey, the receiver has got the message, but this guarantees not that availability will be achieved. 